Jonah Ballo here for Knicks.com with Carmelo Anthony. And uh, this is the time to release the new shoe, the M11 we got here from Foot Locker. Yes, 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 yes. I got to ask you about this one, uh, the colorway first. Why did you go with this color for uh, the All-Star game? Well, it's a, it's a brand um, thing that we're doing with Team Jordan. So the whole brand, it's, you know, we have this thing of the Pearl moment. And this is part of the Pearl collection, um, you know, across the whole brand. It's just a brand message that we're doing. And, and it's a 30 year anniversary for Brand Jordan. And that's that's a long time uh, to still be, you know, relevant and on top of their game. And for me to, you know, be able to have my own signature shoe under that brand is, you know, unbelievable. You know, we saw uh, you on thisismellow.com talking about the shoe and the differences. I got to admit, I think this is my favorite version so far. And uh, obviously, this is in my size, so I'm going to be wearing it. <laughs> oh, this is your size? Yeah. You didn't notice the small size? So. I did, I did. I was going to get you a pair anyway. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about the shoe. I know we can see on the website, and you had a whole yeah. description of it, but uh, tell us a little bit of the differences this year we see in this one. Yeah, well, this you know this one we wanted to play with, you know, kind of the different you know patterns and textures and things like that, um, and still try to make it as light as possible, try to play with the weight. Uh, and I thought we did a great job with just making it, you know, lighter than any other shoe, especially last year's shoe, which was which was pretty light. Um, you know, of course we use you know the flight plate and you know kind of the, this back part right here. I kind of took that from you know kind of X Men. You know, oh, okay, yeah. You know, so Mystique. Yeah. You know the character mistakes, yeah, yeah. so how she changed, how she changed, you know. Into so you had that direct input into the design. Yeah, so that was the first, that was like kind of the first thing that I came up with. Like when we was actually sitting down, coming up with things that, you know, of my of my interest at that moment. You know, I had just got, I had just finished watching, you know, the X-Men movie. And I was like, man, I would love to see, you know, kind of that character come into play in this, in this shoe right here. That's really cool. Now, I want to ask you about shoes in the past. Growing up, maybe a favorite shoe that you thought of when you were a kid, the first big time shoe that you got. Was there one that stands out? Oh man. Back then it was um the Kevin Johnson Converse. Okay. Like I used to I used to love the Kevin Johnson Converse and then Is that black and purple, I think? I had the um the white and maroon okay. color. Um uh, and then I remember getting another pair of Converse. It was actually the Larry Johnson, yep. the Grandma Mons. That was like one of my favorite one of my favorite sneakers. Um, I never could afford a pair of Jordans. I didn't get a pair of Jordans until my 12th grade, you know, year at, at Oak Hill because we were sponsored by mm -hmm. by Jordan. So, like I said, for me to just be able to have my own signature shoe, my own signature brand under the Jordan brand, it, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's great for me. I know it's your 11th one, but when you walk around the city, I'm sure your son and his, you know, yeah, buddies yeah. are watching, are walking yeah. around with those shoes on. Does it still kind of spark something in you to say, "Wow, look at all these kids wearing my shoe." It yeah, actually, has your signature on it. I, I sit back and you know, kind of reflect on that and dwell on that. Um, there's times where you know, I, whether I'm going to a game, whether I'm going to a parents, or just out and about in the city, and you know, I see people, you know, kids with my with my sneakers on. Uh, now I'm starting to see, you know, women and, you know, late mm. females with my sneakers on. So, you know, once you can tap into the female market, you, you're doing something good. I think I'm wearing the same size as a female shoe, actually. Um, but now I want to talk about <laughs> your uh, all-star appearance. Uh, you know, we on the same couch here talked about yeah, yeah. Uh, the one in New Orleans, and now we're talking about New York and, mm -hmm. and playing in this game. Do you remember the 98 game, Jordan, Kobe at Madison Square Garden? I remember that game. I remember that. Anything that stands out? Well, I just remember... You know, it's, it's one picture um, I actually have it in my house, and you know, MJ has the ball, uh, and Kobe is guarding him. And you know, I will never forget, you know, kind of that moment, that image. You know, I always look at that picture, and like that's a that's a, that's a special moment. And it was like kind of you know the changing of the guards, yeah. you know, kind of sorta. Um, and you, you you saw the you know kind of you know the. The baton passed, you know, from MJ to Kobe and, and, and the other guys that was around that league. But just what happened in that game and, you know, the way that MJ played in that game, that was a historical moment. Especially at the Mecca, too. I mean, it was, you know, you got the, the greatest player and the best player in the game um, playing in the best place in the game, the best place that you can ever play at a sporting event. Um, so it was it was definitely a memorable moment. All right, personally in your career, you remember last year's performance, hit the eight threes, yeah. set the record. You've been on a tear in the last couple all-star performances. Yeah. There's anything that stands out in those? I mean, this is your eighth appearance, seven starting. Yeah. So anything that stands out in your head? Well, I, I think just the whole the whole weekend. You know, I, I mean, I know it's times where we get through the weekend like, man, we wish it, <laughs> yeah. we wish it's over. But 
you know, when you when you get selected, you know, to be a starter or just to be part of, you know, All-Star Week and be part of the game, you still get that that feeling, that them, them chills and, you know, kind of that moment where you just sit back and be like, okay, this is a this is still a special moment. I'm still I still feel something, you know, when I participate in this game, participate in the weekend. So and it's, it's, it's that much more special here, being here in New York this year. Great stuff as always. The ambassador for the All-Star Game yeah. is Carmelo Anthony. The M11s yeah. out at Foot Locker in the House of Hoops. Uh, get this new colorway. And uh, we always appreciate your time. We'll be providing a lot of coverage on Knicks.com. And uh, we'll be following you around uh, all Thank All-Star you. Weekend. Thank you. I'm pretty sure I'll be seeing you a lot. <laughs> all right. There he is, Carmelo <laughs> Anthony. I'm Jonah Ballo for Knicks.com.